Alrighty, folks, as promised, we've got our final video. We have four packs remaining of this 2013 Select Hobby Box. Uh, no great autographs yet. We have hit three autographs. We should get at least one more, if not two. Uh, but we did hit a Mike Trout already, uh, which is definitely one of the cards we were looking for. Uh, sorry about that noise. I believe it was like an email or something. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. We got four packs. I am... Uh, even though we already got three autographs, because the box says there are two autographs in each mini box, I'm expecting two more autographs. Um, but we're going to find out. I've got a, a pile of these wrappers here. All right, we've got Matt Harvey. Adam Jones. Ooh, let's take a look at this card. This is a nice looking card. Select team. I actually have not seen one of these inserts before. This is Carlos Gonzalez. That is a really neat looking card. Uh, select team number one, Carlos Gonzalez. That is not numbered. And that is one thing I will say is we have not got a numbered card yet. I, I expect potentially at least one of those. There you go. That, that's a select team, Carlos Gonzalez. It's a, it's a neat looking card. Uh, there's your Enfuego again. That is Joe Maurer. And Alex Gordon. And Wee Yin Chen. I'm actually interested. You know, usually I'll wait to the end, but I figured, you know, there's only four packs. Let's look up this select team. Uh, select team Carlos Gonzalez. Uh, it does look like the select team cards go for... Nah, not too much money. Let's see where the, what the last one sold for. So for those of you that are looking to, you know, find out the values on your cards, there's there's multiple ways to do that. Um, eBay obviously comes to mind, uh, but sometimes eBay can be a little tough to, you know, to sort of find the cards or, or you know, if, if someone has like settled on a price or something like that. So I, I would recommend sportscards.com. Um, they actually have a really cool tool on their site. And it is their price database, and so that price database is a way a way to uh, find find card prices. Um, I'm actually having a hard time finding this card. Panini Select Baseball Team Carlos Gonzalez. This is tough. I have not seen this card anywhere, uh, so I can't find any good comps. So let's call that value less at the moment or value unknown that's a pretty neat card select team i'll have to look that up maybe that's a like a super short print or something carlos gonzalez man the rockies had a really good team back in the day all right here we have it, folks we got adrian beltre we got a josh hamlin all right so we've got a what looks like two prisms and one from our infuego card the Infuego Prism Mike Trout goes for quite a bit, and this is Andrew McCutcheon, not Mike Trout, but still a really nice looking card. There's a little bit of that rainbow foil look to it. Uh, really nice. And then I very quickly showed the next card. This is a Tory Hunter uh, Prism card as well. That's very nice too. That's the number one card in the box. And then you got Robinson Cano and Max Scherzer. We've got two packs left. If there are two autographs, we will get one in each one of these packs. If not, then we'll only have one, and the, the little mini box would be lying to me. Um, I'm not surprised, though. Panini is known to sort of be a little all over the place when it comes to the number of autographs in the box, but let's see. And we do not have one in here, so maybe there's only one autograph left. Here we got Jacoby Ellsbury, Ian Kinsler, Carlos Beltran. Chipper Jones, very nice Chipper Jones card. Oh, that is very nice. That is a Chipper Jones. That is one of the retired short print cards. I'm glad I checked that. Let me double check. And it is, yes, the Chipper Jones 123. This is the base retired shortlist card. Very nice. I like that. And Troy Tulowitzki and Jordan Zimmerman. All right, here we have it, folks. There should be an autograph in here. If there's not, I'm going to be pretty upset with Panini. Uh, and just so you guys know, I do have another box of this, and I do want to open that one too, so I will be opening up 
that box sometime in the next month or two. Um, I'm expecting to get some of the 2021 products in, so I'll be opening up a bunch of that for a little bit, but then I'll go back to some of these older boxes. All right, we've got, there's our autograph. Thank you, Panini, for giving me my four autos. You got Yoannis Cespedes. You Darvish. I'm going to go ahead and push this auto to the back. We got a Michael Bourne. Very, very fast Michael Bourne skills insert. We got Hunter Pence, Jason Kipnis, and here we have it, folks. We saved the last auto for last. Let's turn this baby upside down, and let's see who we've got. The number on here is number 240. Uh, if anyone has a checklist in front of them, they already know who this is. I do not, and it looks like a Paco Rodriguez. There we have it. You know, on the – it's so funny. You've got the box where we hit the Mike Trout, which is obviously – Probably one of the most sought-after cards in this entire set. And then we get four autographs of basically a bunch of no-name rookie cards. But that's expected. There are a lot of rookie autographs in this set. Not all of them can be, you know, Christian Yelich and Manny Machado. So I'll take it. Uh, we did get that Michael Mike, that Mike Tr <laughs> Michael Trout, that Mike Trout card, which was definitely the hit of the box. Uh, the rest of these, loving the inserts. You know, I'll always take any autograph, no matter who the autograph is. Uh, but I had a lot of fun opening that. I am, I'm excited to open already the next box. Keep an eye out for that. Maybe in like a month, month and a half from now. Uh, maybe after I do the 2021 Series 1 or Gypsy Queen or something like that. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to keep these videos coming, and I'm going to keep these hits coming. Cheers.